did one up top so we're going to skip this one we're then moving down here and we're going to say our two employees are adam and erica again this timesheet is not in order for us to bill them for their for their earnings we're setting this timesheet up in order to track billable hours that we're then going to be charged to the customer imagine that these people are going to be our guitar instructors so then we're going to say that we just just charged the time for adam at 75 dollars you could try to set up a different kind of schedule to try to say adam give me your billable time by what you did and try to charge by by item by service item they do or again you might just charge by the billable rate for that particular person that employee and we're going to that's what we're going to do say 75 dollars for that employee we just made up the customers here so customer one and two we're imagining these people that you had guitar lessons with we got lazy didn't put a name in there so we got the person one customer one and customer two that he did work on on monday and wednesday and then tuesday and thursday and then we're going to do the same thing for erica here with the customers that they worked on and then apply out the invoices that we'll do in a following presentation based on that information so let's go to the practice